Today at Deutsche Auto Parts, we're going to be going over TTRS fuel pumps and upgraded fuel pump modules for 2.0T TSI and FSI cars. Okay, so what we have in front of us here is an Audi TTRS fuel pump, a Torquebyte PM3 uh, fuel pump module upgrade, and then the adapter harnesses associated with that. This is the plug and play harness that is intended to go between the fuel pump itself and then the fuel pump module in the vehicle. And then this would then go wire into these wires, which would go into this pump. This is the easiest solution you can come up with for this particular setup um, and gives you the most potential moving forward with your fuel system. So let's talk about the differences between this fuel pump module and other ones. Um, basically, let's talk about why you would originally need a fuel pump module in general. Uh, so when you have your factory fuel pump in the vehicle, you have the power wire that runs the fuel pump that is, runs through that fuel pump module. Now the gauge on that wire is generally pretty thin and has a lot of limitations for supplying the amount of power needed to get maximum power out of the fuel pump. So basically what happens is, is that the electrical system in the car becomes a choke point for creating the most power out of your fuel pump. And that would be for anybody who's upgrading to either a KO4 or bigger is potentially gonna run into issues where they could have problems. So the TTRS fuel pump is what you would see a lot of times used in place of let's say this. Would, there's a lot of modified versions of the TTRS fuel pump that are out there. And then this is another alternative to that. Um, one main benefit to this, you would retain fuel pump priming uh, and still have closed loop operation, uh, which is a feature that is exclusive to this one. The other also main benefit of this is that uh, when we're talking about that power supply choke point, the TTRS fuel pump has a maximum capacity of 18 amps to run through it. And this one has a maximum power of 36 amps. So basically the difference of that is this will scale a lot higher if you go to step up to higher power levels to where maybe that TTRS controller might not get you there. This one will actually still continue to not have any limitations related to the power output. So let's talk quickly about the TTRS fuel pump. Uh, this car obviously came out of the, the TTRS, which is a Quattro car all wheel drive. And this pump actually needs to be modified whenever you're mounting it on vehicles with front wheel drive. Now, the main points that need to be modified would be this hose right here. This hose would normally go into what's called the transfer pump. Um, and that is because you have a Quattro car that has a differential, the gas tank is split on both sides of the car. So the, the fuel on the one side has to be transferred to this side of the vehicle and the main pump so that it could pump fuel to the front of the car. So because you have a front wheel drive car, you don't have a gas tank like that. So you need to plug this off. Otherwise you'll have issues relating to fuel pressure. It probably won't really run at all actually. So what you would do is you can modify it however you see fit. Uh, you can try to cut it off here and plug the hose there, or you can cut this clamp off and try to find a rubber cap and clamp it on there. Um, however you see fit to modify the pump to make sure that this is blocked thoroughly. Also make sure that whenever you're doing this, you use stuff that is capable of actually holding up to fuel because obviously it's sitting in the fuel tank. The other note about this is this fuel sending unit right here. This is what tells the vehicle obviously how much gas is in the vehicle. Um, and this will need to be swapped over from your original pump because the TTRS uh, fuel sending unit is not calibrated properly for the uh, TSI and FSI cars. So if you put this in your, in your vehicle like this, your gas gauge isn't gonna work properly, which if you're okay with that, maybe you wanna do that, but I would highly recommend swapping over the fuel sending unit from your original fuel pump to this one. So the vehicle we're gonna be installing this fuel pump module uh, on today is going to be a Mark V Jetta with a two liter turbo FSI engine. Uh, the gentleman who actually owns the vehicle has this fuel pump already installed with the factory module. Again, like I said, whenever you set it up that way, you're still creating a choke point when using the factory module because it can't supply the proper amount of fuel to maximize this low pressure fuel pump in your tank. Um, so we're gonna be installing it on that vehicle 
he already has this mount in there, so we're not gonna be going over this. But this video is more an example to show you how this fuel pump mounts into the vehicle and kind of how it worked with the system. And keep in mind, this is a plug and play setup for the most part. You will need to basically only just splice these onto this harness, but that's a very simple process and the buck connectors are included with the kits that we show here. I'll put a link to this kit that includes the fuel pump and the control module here. And then you can also check out where we have just the uh, fuel pump module available here as well. Okay, so when we're starting to remove our rear seat, uh, the first thing you're gonna need to do is take out these plastic latch covers. Uh, they will actually, they clip onto the latch bars here. And what you're gonna do is kind of pop them up and then rotate this back out and then pull them out. Uh, and then we're gonna take all four of them out. There's one, two on each side. And then we're gonna pop our seat up. So once you pop the front, there's two clips in the front, and then you're gonna push back and rotate the seat upwards. Okay, so to access our fuel pump, we're going to pop this cover up, and then here is our fuel pump module. To install our pump module, we're gonna start by removing this old one and popping this cover off. So all we're gonna do is pop these tabs up and move that out of the way. And then we can push down our electrical connector right here and then wiggle this connector out. We can then pop this grommet loose from the cop cover, and then we can pop this cover up. And then this fuel pump happens to already have a TTRS pump installed, um, and this connector happens to be broken. So we're gonna have to use a pick to pop it loose. Normally you would just push down on this tab and kind of pull it up, but in this particular case, this one's broken. Okay, now we're ready to install our new torque bite pump module. Okay, so here we have our fuel pump module that is mounted to the cover. And here is our plug and play harness that we uh, include with the torque bite kit. And this allows you to uh, add that to your hard car without any splicing or anything into your factory wiring harness. So all we're gonna do is plug this into our fuel pump. And then we can plug this side into the pump module. Now, once we do that, we have four wires, two red, two black, that need to be run through this cover to come out to run power to them. So, uh, and plug into the uh, torque bike module. So what we're gonna do is run them through this grommet. We're gonna run, make our own hole kind of in parallel to these other wires to run them through. So what I'm gonna do is take a small pick and punch it through. So we punch our original hole, we're gonna punch it with this larger hole to allow the wires through. And then we're gonna run our wires. Now you can do this one of two ways. You can either run them through their own individual hole or you can kind of try to funnel them through all one hole. That's entirely up to you as to how you wanna do that. Also, one thing I did not mention, another option would be is if you wanted to just drill a hole and get a whole new grommet, um, that would be an option for you as well. Obviously, you would have to then um, get new grommets and everything for this install. The real key of this particular grommet is really to keep dirt 
uh, and debris from going into the uh, cabin because obviously the gas tank is directly below. So you want to keep as much dirt and debris that comes from the top of the gas tank uh, out of there. Keeping in mind that you obviously you, you want to try to keep everything as clean as possible underneath there. So try to run the wires however you see fit to get everything in place properly. All right, so now that we're all in place, we're gonna tuck our connector away to where it's out of the way. And then we can pop our cover back in place. And just something to keep in mind, there's a notch on this that lines up with the body right here. So that is where you're gonna pop this cover into to get it properly mounted back in place. Now we're gonna run the rest of our wiring. Okay, so we, we have our four cables that we now need to run. You can choose to run them wherever you're going to mount your pump module. Uh, this one we are going to mount, there's an amp on the back of this seat right here that we are going to run uh, through there. So we're gonna run these cables underneath this seat and then we're gonna shoot to the back of the seat. Okay, so here we are at the back of the seat. Uh, this car obviously has an amp mounted here and then the pump module uh, from Torque Byte is mounted here. Now, normally what you would do is have to run power from the battery to this module to allow, uh, obviously, to allow the maximum power that this thing puts out. This one is actually going to use power that's already run to this amp to accommodate that. So in this particular situation, this was a pretty easy install relative to what a lot of other people are going to work with. Um, you would have to, in that situation, run power from here all the way up to the battery of the vehicle. Uh, and then get a ground somewhere nearby by going to a local grounding point. So we have all of our wires run. Now these are, um, this is going to be the power out to the fuel pump and then here's going to be our signal. Now that everything's mounted in place here, we've kind of run these wires and cut the extended length off of there. So basically all we're ready to do is strip these wires. We're going to put our butt splices on and then we're going, we're pretty much completed with our install. All right, whenever I put bite splices on stuff, what I like to do is kind of give them a little wiggle and a tug to make sure they're not gonna come off. Now we can put our power And then we can plug that one in. And again, that one's pump out. Now we have our other one. And obviously when you're splicing these, you wanna make sure the orientation of the connector is in the correct place. Okay, now that we've completed our Torque Bite PM3 fuel pump module install, we can reinstall the seat and all the other components in the reverse order and we've completed our install. Thank you so much for watching our PM3 fuel pump control module install. If you have any questions or comments about this video, be sure to leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more like it.